there is a very good advice. Chazal say, if you torture your wife, you become poor. If you're very good with her, you become rich. What's the connection? The Zohar, the Kabbalah is teaching us that in heaven you have a tree. You have the geza, the stem. Then you have the branches. And from the branches you have leaves and fruits. But everything is connected to one root. You have the branch and it's holding hundreds of branches that are coming out of this tree. And on the branches you have, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 small branches coming out, mini ones. And on the mini ones you have leaves. But everyone knows if you cut one branch, you take it out, it has a lot of small branches. The women and the money comes from the same branch in Shemaim. There's a direct connection between the woman you're going to marry to the money you're going to make from the minute you got married. It's going to affect and make a big impact on your income. Or for good or for bad. For instance, if your wife is very not modest, every time she walks in the street the way she dresses provocative, you lose a portion of your annual income. If you're supposed to make a million dollars this year, she walked outside in the street, people look at her, she's happy to show her body, to Tony, to Ahmed, to Vini, to Bruce Lee. Every time someone looks at her, it costs you something. Ten dollars, another ten, another twenty, another thirty. No joke. By the end of the year, you made fifty thousand. Rabbi, can you, you know any gmach to help us out? Well, you have such a good business, what happened? Don't ask. You know, I invested some money and the people don't pay. It's very hard time. Of course, his wife is not modest. Destroy this parnasa. If it's the other way around, increase the parnasa. So the question is now, why the Gemara say if you make your wife happy, you become rich, and if you torture her, it makes you poor, takes away your blessing. Why? What's the connection? I'll finish with that. When Hashem saw Adam and Eve eating from the tree, each one of them got a curse. Adam got a curse. You're going to sweat very much to bring bread to the table. Your life should have been paradise. You didn't have to work very hard for the money. I would feed you in a miraculous way. Nobody has to work, to sweat, stress, problem, unemployment, fighting, court cases, traffic. None of that was a part of the plan. You didn't listen to me. I told you not to touch the food. You ate. You're going to suffer for eternity. From what? The land is cursed for you. Very hard to grow to take care of the wheat, the barley, to cut it, to carry it, to make bread. Wow, so much, so much pain. Everything should have been ready for you from Shammai. Now you're going to learn the hard way. What doesn't come through the head, comes through the legs. So Abotai, the woman, has three curses. One, it's nine months of pregnancy. Second, Betzar Tel Dibanim. It's very painful, giving birth. And three, Tzar Gidul Banim. Being with the children, diapers, this, feeding them, doctors, vaccine. <laughs> it's going crazy. Mental breakdown. But there is another curse that the woman got. Your husband will rule you. That's why his name is Baal, Balabait. Owner. That's why he buys you. You have to give him respect like a king. He has also a list of requirements. He has to treat you like a princess and take care of you. Okay. But what's your obligation? You have to look at him like he's a king. And, what, and you have to give him respect. He comes to the house, you have to stand. You have to treat him like, literally like a king. And he has to be the final word. There's no feminism in the Torah. It's a man, man-made nonsense. Man has his job in life, women has their job in life. You can mix. Shatness, don't mix. So now, if the woman made money, her money belongs to her husband. For that, he gives her ktuba, bill of rights, that she will never be neglected. If he dies or they get divorced, she'll get a big amount of money. He has to feed her, he has to give her a place to live, clothes to wear, everything she needs. But if she's a, some successful banker, she make, I don't know, $20,000 a week, and he's avrech in yeshiva, make $600 a month. All her money belongs to him, and he has the final say what to do with that. She can say to him, I don't want ktuba. I don't want rights. I'll feed myself and you feed yourself. I'll make my own money and take care of all my needs. And you don't control my money. It's possible. But if she wants bill of rights, ktuba, that he will pay the rent or the mortgage and he will pay everything 
to give her a guarantee, security, whatever she make or find in the street, lost object, I don't know, belongs to him. She make the money and he can decide to what, what to there to get to the sun. She wants this rabbi, he wants that rabbi. It's his world. But I made the money. Your money belongs to the man. That's what the Torah say. He will rule you. But when someone rule you, you normally hate him. You don't desire him. But Hashem made reverse psychology here. Something that is against the law of nature. As much as the man will rule you and be tough, you would be more attracted to him. And now comes the punchline. The Torah say, listen, if you are nice to your wife, you don't rule her too much. You let go. Buy yourself what you want. I'm not checking the credit card bills. What couch you want? This one, it costs three times more. Make me happy, Moshe. Yalla. You're happy, I'm happy. Easy going. Gives her a break. Because he makes her happy, he takes away from her cares. What's her cares? Your man will rule you and dominate you, right? He let go. His power, he can do whatever he wants. But he said, no, even though he didn't prefer that. He let go. Hashem is very happy from it. Meaning you don't take advantage on the power I gave you to rule her. You ease the cares from her. I will ease the cares from you. So now you don't have to work so hard to make money. All of a sudden, business is booming. If you're nice to your wife, you're easy going, you're not stingy, you're not angry, you're not too much of a dictator, Hashem is the weight of the parnasa from your head. Easy going parnasa. Why? The Gemara says, respect your wives, treat them in the right way, that you become wealthy.